Hello everyone and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we're going to learn how to use Microsoft Copilot to create PowerPoint presentations from scratch. So here right now we are in our live demo. And if you refer to the course slides, you should be able to see this slide here. So here you can sign up to Copilot. So I included the link to Copilot. Make sure that you sign in as I showed you before. And you also sign in into your account that is has Copilot activated and you have the license as well associated with it. And if you click on explore prompts here, you should be directed to this document. This is the same document that we used before. And here I included every single prompt that we're going to show you across the entire course, part A, B and C. And right now we are in module 13, Microsoft Copilot and PowerPoint. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to open PowerPoint and here we go. So please note that when you open PowerPoint right now, because I already purchased the Microsoft Copilot license, you should be able to see Copilot icon here appearing in the corner. You can also see if you click on it, you should be able to see this pane here appearing on the right hand side. If you want to make sure that you have Copilot and the license as well associated with it, please make sure that you are signed in to your account that has the license. Okay, so here, for example, I signed in with, let's say, this is my email that has the um, license associated with it. So now I sign in, I made sure that here I'm using that exact same account. And if everything goes well, you should be able to see the Copilot here icon and you should be able to see Copilot appearing on the right hand side. It's actually pretty straightforward and I would say super fun. You can just say here, you can say create a presentation from. So you can upload a file, for example. We're going to be doing that in the next lecture. So today, I would say in this lecture, let's start small. And let's say I want to create a presentation about. So if you just click here, it's going to tell you create a presentation about. And now I can just mention what is the topic. So here, the topic that I chose is as follows. I'm going to say create a presentation about and I need to remove this actually. So I just copy the first prompt that I have here. So if you go back, this is the first prompt, which is a create presentation from scratch. And now should be able to see, I want to create a presentation about personal branding strategies for professionals, including LinkedIn optimization and online presence management. So you can just click send and here we go. Just let artificial intelligence do the magic for you. So now it's looking things over. Now it's using that brain, that digital brain that I showed you before, how to kind of create as well. Now it's pulling things together. And please note that this, because now we're creating uh, text and images, it's going to take some time for it to run. And here we go. Again, I would say it's, it looks like magic, I would say, when I first saw this. So here it's going to tell you mastering personal branding strategies. And please note that this is, I would say, like really baby steps in AI. We haven't even started yet. Just imagine this tool in, let's say, 10 years from today, what, what, what we can do with it. This is, I would say, a very basic version. So here we got mastering personal branding strategies, stand out in, com in a competitive job market. Should be able to see as well, this image has never existed before. It has been created right now on the fly from that digital brain, from the AI model or the neural network. And let's go ahead and explore. So now you should be able to see agenda overview. So understanding personal branding, optimizing LinkedIn profile. And the power of this is this editable, right? So I can go back and maybe I don't like it. Now you can go ahead and remove parts of it. You can see understanding personal branding, defining personal branding, skills and experience, professional growth. You also see defining your brand identity. These are the points. Setting goals for your brand and LinkedIn optimization techniques. So you need to have a strong profile picture crafting a strong headline, showcasing skills and endorsement. It's pretty good, I would say, of course, requires improvement, but it's a good starting point. You can use it to here, you have a professional photo, strong headline, again, it's kind of repeated again. And you should be able to see building your network and managing your online presence. Okay, pretty good. What's really powerful as well about using Copilot in uh, PowerPoint is that now you got also speaking notes. So now if you go make it a little bit bigger, now you should be able to see, for example, here, engage with your audience by sharing valuable content, insights, and industry trends. You can also see here your LinkedIn, basically it's telling you exactly what to say, I would say. So here's your LinkedIn profile, should tell your professional story, use a professional photo, write a wrong headline, st strong headline, and craft a summary that highlights your achievements and 
aspirations as well okay that's pretty pretty amazing what you could do as well is that you can kind of uh, change I would say the tone and the style of the presentation so what I could do here is I'm going to say I want you to create um, a presentation about also personal branding strategies for professionals including LinkedIn optimization and online presence management make the this is a new thing we're gonna say make the presentation geared towards generation alpha with fun and cool features so now you can kind of by optimizing the prompt now you can play around with the style of your presentation um, I would say it might crash so we might actually need to go and start it again but let's go ahead and give it a try so now I'm gonna run it again and let's see if it's gonna so here it's gonna, gonna tell you well this is a new presentation will replace your existing slides I'm gonna say sure yes please that means I'm gonna remove all the existing slides. I'm gonna create new slides from scratch. Uh, it actually crashed on me a few times, I would say. So it's still, I would say, work in progress. And this is a really early version. And now it's pulling things together. And here we go. So now should be able to see the colors right now started to change a little bit. And it's kind of geared towards maybe like a little bit younger generation, I would say. So now should be able to see here, for example, your unique story. And the colors, of course, are very different. They are not as, I would say, professional as we had it before when we didn't specify the style or the tone or maybe the target audience of your presentation. This is the visual identity matters, okay? LinkedIn optimization. You can see that maybe the pictures have changed slightly. Maybe the words are pretty much the same. And you should be able to see if you maybe take a look at the speaking notes, engage with content. So I would say maybe the, the, the uh, language, I would say, did not change much but maybe the pictures here and the images change quite a bit. Of course, what you see here as well is that you can add an image if you want. You can also view prompts. These are the pre-existing prompts. So if you click on it, now you should be able to see all the existing prompts you can, you can leverage. So if you wanna add speaking notes, if you wanna say, for example, questions from audience, what's the tone, create an image. These are kind of preset prompts that you can leverage directly here. You can also see that you can make or manage uh, content preferences. I'm going to show you all these features coming up next. And of course, you can use the microphone as well to um, draft a prompt, basically, a microphone. And that's it. That's pretty much all I have for this quick lecture. I hope you enjoyed it. In the next lecture, we're going to learn how to modify text, modify images, and also modify the speaking notes. Please stay tuned. Best of luck, and I will see you in the next lecture.